It was like an anime girl with tentacle arms who was naked. What's up guys, DDBK videos here. I make military content. I put it on the internet for you guys. If you would take the time to just hit the like button, literally milliseconds out of your day, let's jump into the video. So little old 18 year old me just graduated high school. I'm ready to go to boot camp, meet people from all around the world. And I did, I got in the division with a buttload of dudes. It was co-ed division, so we had females, but in our compartment we had like 80 guys, right? So we're sleeping with 80 guys in one room. That's a key reference. I want you to keep that in your head. Bunk beds, right? Outlining a rectangle room. Think of a rectangle, now outline it with bunk, bunk beds. Completely outlined, right? So many that we had one more person who wouldn't fit in the outlining bunk bed, so we had to bring in a second bunk bed and kind of put them like off into the center. Person has a lot of attention on himself, but in boot camp no one really cares because everyone's getting beat regardless. But your eye is drawn to that certain person during certain times, right? As you guys can tell by the title of the video, you probably know where this is going. But there's this one guy who kept to himself, which, I mean, some people in boot camp don't like talking to other people, don't like making friends, cool, whatever, do your own thing. Often, boot camp's the time you're making friends for life, you're all going through, you know, probably the most stressful thing you've each ever been in, so you're making friends, and this guy kind of kept to himself, which is alright, but, I mean, I'm just giving you character development into this. In the middle of the night, you would see this kid pull his cover over his head and everyone was wondering what he was doing. You know, it, it could be speculated that he was reading or he was doing something, but nevertheless, everyone could see him pull the cover over his head in the middle of the night because he's the one standing out in the center. Now, like, you know, nights go by, he does that like every night, whatever, he could be writing notes to his friends. And we did see him draw a lot on Sundays, so, eh, well, it wasn't out of the normal. Didn't look like someone to do something, you know, creepy like, yank it in a room full of dudes instead of going into the bathroom like everyone else and closing the stall. So we're getting our, tr <laughs> god damn it, I'm gonna start laughing. We're getting our bunks inspected. And in boot camp, <clears throat> no matter how well you do something, it, it sets you up for failure because they wanna induce stress and see how you react to the stress. So everyone's getting their bunks torn apart. Ah, oh, this is wrong, this is wrong. They're dumping everything, dumping your pillowcase. This guy had his pillowcase dumped, and out came all these sheets of papers of his drawings. Everyone's thinking, okay, well, he draws anime stuff. Oh my god. It was like an anime girl with tentacle arms who was naked. Like, <laughs> tentacle arms. Octopus arms. Naked girl. And apparently that's what he's been looking at while he's under his sheets. Because also what came out of his pillowcase was a sock, a crusty sock that he's been using to do the deed. And I've never felt so much empathy for someone as they just dumped it in front of the whole division and everyone saw that. It wasn't really spoke about either. They kind of just left it at that because everyone was grossed out and weirded out in their own way. Even nowadays, if I saw the guy in person, I'd probably still be a little weirded out, but hey, first impressions last. Don't, don't, don't be that guy. Don't, if you are drawing tentacle stuff right now, I, I highly recommend you to stop. 